so hey guys what's up in this video we're going to see about a problem on lead code that is a post order traversal on the generic tree right so previously we had been discussing about the pre-order traversals the what is basically the generic tree if you haven't watched the video yet i'll be attaching the links of the video in the description do watch them so today's topic is post order traversal now we know in a binary tree right suppose this is my binary tree what will be its post order traversal basically your first traverse left right and then finally the root right this is the basic post order traversal that we do suppose i have this as one two and three right what will be my post order traversal here so basically it will be two then three then one right so if i am going to do the post order traversal of this tree that i have here right what will be it so basically first i will you know like recursively call for each of these nodes to its child right unless i find a node that does not have any child i will stop there right because this is the last node that i can reach from right so basically i will first go through this right five then i will have to go for six then the post traversal goes like three then it goes for two then it goes for four and then finally the one basically what we do here is first we traverse the left child then you go for the right child in binary tree right but in this like the generic trees right what we essentially do is the similar case right we had two childs in binary tree that is why go for left and right and then to the root right but here we can have many number of childs right so for that we'll have to traverse from left to right up to the number of child is node has right because here you can see three has two child so we'll have to traverse five then six and then three right here you can see we have three childs of one right so first we have to traverse for three then two then four then one so this is what it is so now let's code up and see what it means right so guys just before going to the solution part i would just like to remind you guys that most of you are watching my videos but are not subscribing right so if you are actually enjoying my content and want to see more of my videos please do like share and subscribe and do support my channel so now let's go and code up the solution so what this problem basically says is that you are given a root node and you need to find the post or traversal of this tree right so basically as we have discussed previous what will be the post or traversal right first we'll traverse the child and then finally we'll traverse the root right this is how we do like when i'm coming to one i'll recursive call for its child and when i'm coming to three i'll recursively call for its child right now i'll call for five and six as these do not have any child right this will be pushed into the array resultant array right so this is what we are going to you know, like code right so if you are new and you haven't watched my previous videos the pre order and generic tree do watch them to get a better understanding of the solution that we are going to do right so let's let's now write the solution and see how it works so for that what i'll do is initially i'll initialize my vector resultant array that will be containing my file and answer right so then i will be checking a base condition that if actually the root does not exist right if the root does not exist then return the empty array itself right and then we'll recursively call the solve function that is our recursive function right and this will take basically two parameters that is the root and the answer parameter or the vector array that we want in the form of a result and then we'll return the answer vector right so this is what it does and finally when i do a recursive function call and after we get the updated answer vector we'll be finally returning this answer vector so i'll return answer from you right so now let's head over to the recursive function and solve it so i'll be writing my recursive function so this will basically contain two parameters first one is the root and the second one will be the resultant vector answer right so this will be done like this and it will be passed as a reference here right now what we have discussed before is that it will first go to its child it will recursively call for its child and then finally after visiting all of its child the root will be inserted right so that is what we're going to do right so we'll traverse for each of this child right so let me call this nodes as x and we'll be traversing the child of this root right i am writing this property because it is defined here as that the node has a property of children that will contain essentially the pointers to the children it has right so for each children you will traverse it right and you will be essentially you know like pushing or uh, recursively calling for these childs right as you do in the regular post traversal 
and this time when I'm actually at one I'll be recursively calling for three right we're calling for the child and subsequently three will call for its next child and after it does calling it will finally insert the root right so now the current child is X as you have traversing as a parameter of X here right and we'll now go for this child X and the second parameter of the solve function will be answer right so after we are visiting all its child will finally you know like insert the root right I will now finally write answer dot push back the roots well right so that's pretty much it I think let's run this code and see whether it works or not and you can see it does right so let me just sum it and see whether it works or not So yes it does guys there is a success and hope so you like my video till then stay tuned stay safe i'll see you in the next video